Welcome to online learning. Today we'll be learning about the United Nations. And today's topics are agencies of the UN, achievements of the UN and India and the UN. Agencies of the UN. The agencies of the UN work on common world problems. Common world problems like religious conflict, corruption, water scarcity, food and hunger, education and unemployment. And most of these works are done through the Economic and Social Council. So let us learn about a few agencies. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, also known as UNESCO focuses on improving education worldwide. It also protects historical and cultural sites all over the world. Various historical monuments, various wildlife reserves, wildlife sanctuary are protected by the UNESCO. The United Nations Children's Fund works for children's rights, their development, protection, and survival. It's a special program of the UNO devoted to adding national efforts to improve the health, nutrition, education, and general welfare of children. The World Health Organization promotes the general health of the people of the world. This is the flag of WHO and this is the building of the WHO. So what are the works of WHO? It promotes the general health of the people. How? They create awareness, they do campaign and by that they promote the general health of the people. They also make report on various digits and publish it to the people so that the people will know about it and they will take necessary precautions. The Food and Agriculture Organization works towards removing hunger from the world. Its Latin motto, Fiat Fanis, means let there be bread. So what are the works of FAO? Achieving food security for all is at the heart of FAO's efforts to make sure people have regular access to enough high quality food to lead active and healthy lives. It helps eliminating hunger, food insecurity and malnutrition. It makes agriculture more productive and sustainable. It reduces rural poverty and ensures inclusive and efficient agricultural and food system. The International Labor Organization works towards promoting opportunities that help people to find work. It also takes care of rights of people at work. The function of the ILO include the development and promotion of standards for national legislation to protect and improve working conditions and standard of living. Achievements of the UN The UN has been very successful in maintaining peace in the world. And that's why we have not witnessed any major war after the Second World War. It has prevented conflicts from turning into major wars and it has also solved many international disputes. It is also involved in peacekeeping operations. The oil platform case, the Pakistan Navy Atlantic shootdown case which were reserved peacefully by the UN are the 
achievements of the UN. The UN favors disarmament. Disarmament means not to use any arm or to create violence using arm. It makes efforts to prevent misuse of destructive weapons. The UN encourages its member nation not to use destructive weapons such as nuclear weapons or chemical weapons. Today, the world is a better place to live in largely due to the UN. India and the UN India is very actively involved in all the activities of the UN. India has given full support to the UN's peacekeeping efforts. Indian peacekeeping forces are serving in different parts of the world to restore peace. And India has always actively participated in the relief operations of the UN agencies. Now today's homework. Write the full form of the followings UNESCO, UNICEF, WHO and ILO. To which council of the UN most of the works are done? Where is the headquarters of the WHO? And where are the headquarters of UNICEF and UNESCO? I hope you like today's class. Thank you, thank you very much.